Tim, in trying to understand what it's all about, what is this world, this universe in which we find ourselves, science is beginning to give us enormous numbers of uh, ideas uh, and theories, and it, it, it's so rich. Uh, we've both been involved in the sciences in different ways. And as we look at levels of explanations, hierarchies, from physics to chemistry to biology to systems and even human systems, there seems to be explanations at all levels. People have talked about this as an emergence. And I've always struggled with, is emergence something that's deeply fundamental at each level, or it's just a way of describing a, uh, really a reduction that we can't quite understand yet? So we, we have this notion of reality, physical reality, as a stratis stratified structure. There's the level of fundamental physics, the most general level, chemistry that's built on physics, then we get biochemistry and biology, uh, and then psychology, um, uh, sciences that deal with um, uh, intelligent, purposive agents having beliefs and desires and goals, and ultimately conscious, purposive agents such as ourselves. Uh, a good question uh, for us to consider is this idea of emergence, is this, does this mark something fundamental about the way the, the universe is, uh, that these emergent uh, realities, are they fundamental characteristics in some sense, or is it just a different way of describing in a more, at a more coarse-grained level of description what's going on that fundamentally just is a bunch of physics, a bunch of particles and waves uh, obeying uh, characteristic uh, laws of physics. Uh, my answer to that question is um, chemistry and biology, other kinds of complex systems, may and certainly do involve a kind of emergence in the sense that we get explanatory frameworks that can be understood in their own terms even if you're ignorant of the underlying physics. So there's no question about that, that there's a kind of explanatory autonomy uh, for scientists that deal with, with complex systems at various levels of nature. But that doesn't automatically mean that what they describe is anything over and above a right. bunch of physical stuff, wholly constituted phys by physical stuff, and obeying those fundamental physical laws. However, if there are emergent realities that uh, involve fundamental properties, new kinds of properties that appear in the history of the evolution of the universe, there was nothing like that before, uh, then emergence does begin to look like a more fundamental feature or aspect of reality. I think that's so in the case of human consciousness uh, and our, our, our subjective experience more generally, our, our capacity to form purposive actions that we control. Um, it doesn't seem to me that we can account for this kind of phenomena uh, in wholly physical terms. Consciousness okay. seems deep. Okay, uh, so we have a very large uh, spectrum here uh, from consciousness at the top where it seems down to physics and chemistry at, at the bottom. And at, e at each level, there is an emergence, but are you saying that it's only at the consciousness level where that emergence is something really fundamental, and at the other levels, it's more of a coarse-grained uh, explanation of what we can't fine-grained explain yet? I'm saying it's only at the level of consciousness that we have good reason to suppose it's fundamental. It could turn out that there are aspects of certain kinds of bio non-conscious biological systems that resist reductive explanation. Uh, it's very hard to directly test reductionist versus emergentist claims just because physical systems are composed of literally billions of fundamental particles. You can't monitor all those variables and, and directly try to deduce the higher level phenomena. Um, but still, there's, there's no particular reason to suppose that chemistry and biology is anything but a, a interesting organized uh, phenomena that is wholly governed without remainder by the basic laws of physics. Oh, when you get to consciousness, it's of a different character. That's right. Uh, our, our conscious experiences seem to be qualitatively different kinds of phenomena, undoubtedly causally dependent, wholly dependent, on the physical uh, phenomena that constitutes us as, as biological beings, but it seems a distinctive sort of phenomena that in turn has uh, influences on the physical world. Uh, my conscious desires lead me to behave in certain sorts so of consciousness ways. is fully physically caused, but is now emergent in a fundamental way, different than other things that can't be fully explained by what causes it. That's right. And so, an ideal calculator 
who was seeing the universe uh, evolve through a trajectory over time and, that un and who understood the fundamental laws of interaction uh, uh, of, of physics and could predict moment by moment or over intervals of time how things would, would appear, maybe with probability. Um, at a certain point in time where conscious beings come about, those predictions would begin to break down. Consciousness They'd be surprised. Be that's right. They, they, in that sense, emergence is a fundamental fact. As a theist, do you read anything special into that, into the concept of emergence being fundamental at the level of consciousness? Is there something special about that as a theist? If you buy the idea that consciousness is a fundamental emergent phenomena, then it's a very surprising feature of our universe. Why is the universe at its fundamental level disposed under the, just the right organized um, uh, configurations to give rise to these emergent phenomena, to causally give rise to these phenomena? Um, there's no, it, it, seemed, it would seem offhand that uh, there might have been many kinds of fundamental physical phenomena that don't give rise under any circumstances to emergent phenomena. Uh, yet, if God exists, if God is the causal source of all that we see around us, and he has reason to prefer a, a reality where there are minded agents like ourselves, then it becomes less surprising that it should have uh, that characteristic. So in a way, it's, it's kind of a, a, a spin on the fine-tuning sort of style of design argument. 